Hell on the tape for our next fight, Ramon Lopez, Marcos Bonilla in Tijuana. Marcos is three years older, and uh, Ramon has a two-inch reach advantage. Marcos Bonilla is oh, 2-0 for the Combate de Americas. See if he can make it 3-0 here tonight. Last time Bonilla was in the ring, a technical loss tempo, to tempo, AJ tempo. Bryant. He's already uh, got a oh, already, huh? cut malfunction, shaking it off. Yeah? He's ready to go. Ah, no Tostina, Tostina. Tostina, 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 Tostina. Vamos, a pelear. Marco Bonilla started training at the age of 23 because he was gaining weight, which is around the house, doing nothing in front of him. Took him to a jiu-jitsu gym after that. Got hooked on it. Here he is as a professional with a record of four and three. He's in the black trunks. Ramon Lopez from Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico. These guys are trading leg kicks. Makes my shins hurt. Especially when you start off the fight immediately, huh? Yeah. Both getting a feel for the distance here. Nice high kick by Marcos Bonilla. Nice head kick by uh, Lopez. He's uh, chopping those legs down. Big overhand right by Marcos Bonilla. Follows up with the leg kick. Does a good job of uh, getting out of the way there. Bonilla with a good left. Only been training for three years. Good strong right kick. So some powerful leg kicks by uh, Ramon Monchi Lopez. Lopez, 28 years old. Got inside of Bonilla's head, who also took the fight on short notice. Bonilla was actually having a beer at a Ghostface Killer concert. When he got a text, hey, answer your phone. But hey, we have a fight for you. His uh, manager's like, hey, I'm telling you, I got a fight for you. He's like, hold on, hold on, let me finish my beer. Then I'll say yes. Took the fight, said he was in shape training, just enjoying himself that night. He was actually at Combate 11 in Burbank. It's 2-0 oh under the Combate Americas banner. Monchi's making his Combate Americas debut. Monchi's favorite strike is a uh, front kick, which he's been utilizing very well. It's got kind of like a karate stance going on. The karate Muay Thai background for Lopez in the blue. You see that. Believe it or not, uh, Lopez started training three years ago, but he always grew up playing sports, so you can see that athleticism here yeah. in La Jauza. Yeah, the way he moves around there. He works at a, at a gas company Monday through Friday from 7 to 4, and then he trains part-time, but he gets home at around 10 p.m. Nice kick landed by Lopez. Nice sprawl and brawl. Nice front head draw sunk in by Marcos. I meant Ramon. He's got the back, got back control, got plenty of time left, too. Marcos Bonilla needs to get both shoulder blades on the mat. Marcos uh, turned and, and got top position, so that's good. Lopez's guard is completely open. Marcos needs to uh, pass there, but instead uh, Lopez gets back to his feet. He's got a, a good uh, head and arm guillotine that he's going for. Um, I wonder if he's going to pull guard on it. Let's see. Let's see what he does. Nope, he's got an underhook. Good job. Good boy. There it is. Takes him down with that uh, front guillotine. It's not a takedown until his shoulder blades are on the on the mat. I'm against the cage. Marcos needs to get back to his feet. He needs to get an underhook. He needs to use the cage as his friend to uh, get back to his feet. That is uh, two. He's not listening to you right now. No, but uh, Lopez is doing a good job of trying to secure that side control, but Marcos is trying to get back to his feet. Um, but I don't think he's going to be able to be successful at that because it looks like he's got him around the legs there. Yep, he does. And he's uh, going to get back down to the ground, but uh, Marcos gives up his back and he's trying to get back to his feet. My goodness, is uh, Lopez tall? Yeah, you see the, the distance. Like those, like those legs just keep going. Yeah, he's got a two inch reach advantage on uh, Marcos. Watch out there, back on the head. Hey, by Monia. 
elbow by Bonilla. I don't even know if that was legal or not, but I, I'd have to see the replay. In the corner of Bonilla, there you see his corner given instructions. Nice head position by uh, Lopez. Pimple, pimple. That'll do it for the oh. opening round. <laughs> Three five minute rounds inside La Jaula. A little wink out of the opponent. Listo. Listo. Vamos. Marcos is happy. He's like, nice job, boy. Way to, way to stick it to me. They didn't know much about each other. Nice inside leg kick, um, and it's checked by Lopez. Lopez had a Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico, about two hours south of Tijuana by a plane. Here by himself. He's there. usually his family with him, but it's expensive to get him going. He's got his career underway. Naranjero's fan, big baseball fan. He really didn't train in MMA because there was nowhere to train down in his part of Mexico up until three years ago. Once they found that gym, he hasn't looked back, and here he is as a professional with a 3-2 record. It's a bit of a flying head kick by Lopez. Gets him right into the clinch. He's got a nice, strong underhook. Trying to get Marcos down to the ground. Bonilla, 31 years old. He's in the black. This is uh, Marcos's first time fighting in Mexico, and he went well, up a weight class for this fight. Yeah. Normally fights at 45, this one is at 55. But because of the short notice, they don't have to worry about too much about a cut. He also got a late start in his career. He took his first amateur fight at 26. Nice job by Lopez trying to get him down to the ground, sucking him in with that uh, over under. Nice knees, nice knee exchanges by both men. Now Marco's going in for the takedown. He's got his hands clasped together. He's gonna pull that carpet out from underneath him. If he can get those shoulder blades on the mat, that'll be two in the wrestling world. He's gonna lift him Pick and him up. Drop dropped him. him. Bonilla nice gets a reaction from the crowd. Nice shot by Marcos. This could be a turn of events for Bonilla. He's in a, securing a nice side control position. We'll see if he can re retain that. Lopez with the single leg. If he could step over that leg, he can get the reversal. Marcos punches to the body. It's not going to be a career ender. <laughs> if he gets that leg over, oh. There's that step over there single by uh, Lopez. Nice job by Lopez. He needs to poke his head out. Nice, he's got a nice uh, shoulder pressure on the left side, Lopez does. He's making uh, Bonilla look at the cage. It's very uncomfortable, and he's driving that left shoulder into his cheek and chin. Nice knee on belly by Lopez. Maybe he can take him out, although I would try to go for that uh, phantom choke there. He has it? No, he doesn't. He is back into side control, now back in the front head draw. Let's see if he can take his back. I think he can. Oh, he's so long. He does Over. it beautifully. Nice backwards elbow by Bonilla. Another one by Bonilla. Looking for the switches, Bonilla. Bonilla in front of his own corner. A lot of destruction coming from that corner. Daniel Gutierrez is a head trainer. He's using his legs. He's going to use that leg to, to secure the back one. again. He needs to sit into his right side. Lopez in blue, six foot one. You see him, long, lanky. Marcos with the two on one. How do you get out of that? Uh, for Marcos? Yeah. I would say turn into his opponent. He needs to turn into him. But, uh, you know, Lopez is so long, he's got a figure four triangle yeah. locked around his body. In order for Marcos to get out of this now, he has to break that figure four triangle on the left side. So if he can get his body to fall to the left side of him, he can break that figure four triangle. Turning to the right is not gonna work. He needs to go to the left. There it is, now he can break it. That's, he can break it because that's where the triangle is, is locked. So you, can, you gotta break it where it starts. So go right where it starts and that's where you gotta aim for. Yeah, you gotta get that, you gotta get that figure four off. You gotta break those feet. Don't worry so much about the choke. Worry about the figure four. He's gonna stay. Oh, another he, good elbow. He, he'll stay here for the rest of the time unless he, he does something drastically different. 
30 seconds to go in the second round. Fighting for it. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. It is. But He's it's not deep it. enough. It's not deep enough. He's got 20 seconds. Bonnie is fine here. Oh, switches, but that's still not deep enough. 15 to go. Not and deep le enough. Unless he wants to get his chin broken, but it's not going to happen. Nope. He doesn't have it. An exhausting round Let's between Marcos Bonilla and Ramon Lopez. Coming to an end here, Combate 12 in Tijuana, Mexico. With oh, a record 2-0, Monchi Lopez making his debut inside La Jala. A lot of respect between the two fighters. A hug to start off the third, and we are underway. Lopez in blue from Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico. Bonilla in black, Salvadorian roots. Ramon doing a good job for his uh, Combate Americas debut. A lot of movement. Check that kick by Bonilla and delivers a kick on the inside of his own. That was beautiful. Lopez said when he started training three years ago, it was just a hobby. Didn't think he would ever have the opportunity to be a pro. Here he is with a three and two record. It's La Jala in Tijuana. A lot of doors opening up for him. He's also a CrossFit teacher. Yeah. Like, uh, like you said, he was a skateboarder before this. He's been an athlete all his life yeah. and it transitioned very well into the cage to La Jaula. Every time Marcos kicks, he just kicks right back. Yeah. Oh my gosh, beautiful backwards yeah, spinning nice. kick to the body. Cuidado con esa rodilla, cuidado con esa rodilla. He needs to jack that underhook up. Keep those legs spread and jack that underhook up. Keep walking to your underhook side there. If you don't jack up that underhook, it's not considered an underhook, and you might as well overhook at that point. On the black. That's defiant. Trained by Daniel Gutierrez, trying to pick up Lopez. I feel like uh, Lopez's confidence has grown as the yeah. fight has been gone on. That's a great observation. And a uh, nice double leg almost. If he can uh, get those shoulder blades onto La Jaula mat, he will be able to secure the takedown. Nice front head drop by Bonilla. Let's see if he can cinch in a, a, a submission here. If I were him, I'd sit in for that front head guillotine, but uh, Lopez is so long. That's my favorite, favorite reversal what Lopez is doing. Is he's stepping over that single leg. He's stepping over that single leg with an underhook, and he's going to get the reversal here. Out of Antrim, Sonora is Monchi Lopez. Nice, back to his yep. feet is uh, Lopez. It's like all legs right there. It's all on your screen. He's he's so long. 6'1", 155 is what he came in at. Nice head position by Lopez. You see a little bit of the frustration on the face of Bonilla. Look, uh, Marcos needs to jack that underhook up. Oh, but now he's got an overhook. And for the years. And here comes a single leg by Lopez. If he can get it, no, he got both. Oh, no, he didn't. Nice Nadal. job by Marcos. Getting out of it. Nope. <sighs> Marcos is or, uh, Marcos is trying uh, very hard for the takedown for the double leg, but Lopez is so long. These two are evenly matched. Less than two minutes to go in the fight. Marcos says, screw it. I'm going to try to get you down another way and go for the neck. And based on how that first round went, how the judges saw it, I think the second one was one where Lopez controlled it. It's a nice uh, takedown attempt by Marcos. He had a single leg on the head on the outside. It's proven to be effective, though. He's got less than uh, 90 seconds to work here in the final, third and final round. Lopez said he would win this fight with his head, his heart, and those huevos. What he's doing here in the third. Yeah, he, he now gave up his back there. After he got that single leg with his head on the outside, it, it made him susceptible to, to giving up his back. But if he can turn it around, which it looks like he's switching his hips right now, he's now on top. Those guys are super sweaty. And uh, he's on top now. A minute to go in the fight between Bonilla and Lopez in Tijuana. Combate 12. Inside the howla. Going at it. Nice job by Marcos. Knee to the head. Uh, and away is Lopez. Covering up is Bonilla. 
Letting his hands go for the first time in a while is Lopez. Thirty seconds to go in the fight. Lopez, Bonilla, not on the line tonight. In Tijuana, Mexico. Nice job looking for a triangle is Lopez. Bonilla says, get out of here with that. Nice knee to the body by Bonilla. Beautiful job. Oh, come on, sit in on the guillotine. Do it, dude. Final oh, nice second. Yeah. Simple. Three tough rounds between Marcos Bonilla and Ramon Lopez. Both the fighters, great sportsmanship, raise each other's hand. A big smile from both of them. A lot of respect. A very tactical fight. Be interesting to see how the judges score this one. Después de completar las tres vueltas, esta es la decisión oficial. Ladies and gentlemen, after going the distance of three rounds, the official scorecard reads as follows. Los tres jueces están de acuerdo entregando tarjetas idénticas de 29 a 28. All three judges turning identical scorecards of 29 to 28. A favor del ganador, por decisión unánime, in favor of the winner, by way of unanimous decision. El Monchi. Ramón López. Sí, sí, sí.